This is a quick tutorial to talk about white space and colour theory. So first of all, go to the random colour selector. I got yellow. Go for the product, give it a spin, and I got food. Now, yellow food, you can pretty much think of all sorts of things initially, but I did a bit of research um, and I come up with an idea which you'll see in a second. You'll see in this next part of the video that I'm searching through a template which I think might represent that yellow food um, group that I've chosen or has been chosen for me. And you can see I've chosen this template. It says love always wins. Now, it doesn't really matter what the template is, but you can see how I start to move text around and delete the image at the top. because I don't think it's appropriate, but I like the style and the layout for a bit of fun. Now, Easter's coming, so I'm thinking chocolate. And I'm thinking M&Ms and peanut M&Ms because they're yellow. And you can see at the bottom, I'm just changing a bit there. I'm changing the colour scheme. Um, please excuse me, I'm colour blind, so I might be choosing the wrong colour here. But I think this is a yellowy colour that might be quite good for the design for that bit at the bottom. Then I'm going to have a look at some of the elements. I've got some text there. I've got a whole load of white space which I want to fill with something later. I'm going to change those, move the position and do things later on. And you'll see um, other examples as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm now I'm going to upload things to do with the product. So I said peanut m and So on my upload screen, I've saved some images from the internet. And I've got, you can see various different ones relating to the product. And I'm placing those m and I'm going to put them in the background. I'm going to enlarge them. And then I'm going to crop them down so they fit behind. Now you can see that those actually don't, the, the m and are too big. So I'm changing them. I'm just doing this on my phone. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you can see how I can position those there. But you also notice that all of the images, the text and the white, the yellow thing at the bottom, yellow element at the bottom is not there. So I'm going to send the M&Ms to the back. Then I'm going to play around with different elements. I don't need to do this and show you how. I'm sure you can do it yourself. And then I'm going to input or insert the M&M logo or the M&M yellow character, the peanut character into that. Do the same thing with the logo now. And you can see how that works. Have a go, save your work and upload it to the assignment. Do your best, ask for help.